everyone. My name is Emmanuel and I'm a volleyball player but I'm also a plant scientist and today I want to talk to you a little bit about what I do as a plant scientist and how I'm trying to help the world. So I study at ANU and I do a lot of research on trying to improve important crop species to help us for food, to help the farmers and so forth. Now what I do is I study a protein or an enzyme called Rubisco and this enzyme is important for making the food that plants use. So in general terms plants make their own food by photosynthesis. They use energy from the sun, combine it with carbon dioxide and water and this is all happening by the power of Rubisco to produce sugars or what we call carbohydrates and carbohydrates is a form of um, storing energy is a form is a way in which plants store energy so that they can use now I want to talk a little bit more about energy and why is it why it's important for living things how we use it and how we produce it so like I said plants make carbohydrates make sugars and this is the form of energy that they store plants are called producers or autotroph because they make their own food they make their energy storage now animals humans are called heterotrophs because we cannot produce our own food we depend on producers these autotrophs in order to get our food to produce our energy. Plants, animals and all living organisms are made up of cells. Cells are the building block of life. They cannot survive without energy. So they make their energy in very special compartments, organelles called the mitochondria. In these micro mitochondria, they're able to break down carbohydrates, protein, fats to release the energy, which we scientists refer to as ATP, as a form of um, currency, if you will, for energy. Okay. Now, energy is important for a number of processes. Reproduction, defense, maintaining balance, homeostasis in other words and yeah and energy can be summarized in three scientific terms anabolism catabolism and metabolism now anabolism refers to the production of complex molecules that store the energy so in photosynthesis carbohydrates is produced so this is a form of anabolism energy and simple molecules are used to produce the carbohydrates which are the complex molecules now catabolism is where the stored or these sugars will be broken down to once again release the energy so it's like a reverse you use you break down these complex molecules to produce simple molecules and energy and this energy is what is used for daily functions and metabolism can be referred to as the sum total of anabolism and catabolism happening and metabolism is always happening and whenever it stops then that is when living thing a living thing dies thank you very much i gotta get back to my game